Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for December the 10th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA thoughts for the day. Selfishness. So our troubles, we think, are basically of our own making. They arise out of ourselves, and the alcoholic is an extreme example of self-will run riot, though he usually doesn't think so. Above everything, we alcoholics must be rid of this selfishness. We must, or it kills us. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 62. Thought to consider. The smallest package in the world is an alcoholic all wrapped up in himself. Acronyms. Pace. Positive attitudes change everything. Just for today. Giving from a vision for you. He, Bill W., now returned home, leaving behind his first acquaintance, Dr. Bob, the lawyer and the devil may care chap. These men had found something brand new in life. Though they knew they must help other alcoholics if they would remain sober, that motive became secondary. It was transcended by the happiness they had found in giving themselves for others. 4th edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 159. Daily Reflections, Carrying the Message Now, what about the rest of the 12th step? The wonderful energy it releases and the eager action by which it carries our message to the next suffering alcoholic and which finally translates the 12 steps into action upon all our affairs is the payoff the magnificent reality of Alcoholics Anonymous, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 109. To renounce the alcoholic world is not to abandon it, but to act upon principles I have come to love and cherish, and to restore in others who still suffer the serenity I have come to know. When I am truly committed to this purpose, it matters little what clothes I wear or how I make a living. My task is to carry the message and to lead by example, not design. As Bill sees it, random quote, day of homecoming. As sobriety means long life and happiness for the individual, so does unity mean exactly the same thing to our society as a whole. Unified we live, disunited we shall perish. We must think deeply of all those sick ones still come to AA. As they try to make their return to faith and to life, we want them to find everything in AA that we have found and yet more if that be possible. No care, no vigilance, no effort to preserve AA's constant effectiveness and spiritual strength will ever be too great to hold us in full readiness for the day of their homecoming. Letter, 1949. Talk, 1959. Big book quote. Let no alcoholic say he cannot recover unless he has his family back. This just isn't so. In some cases, the wife will never come back for one reason or another. Remind the prospect that his recovery is not dependent upon people. It is dependent upon his relationship with God. We have seen men get well whose families have not returned at all. We have seen others slip when the family came back too soon. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. Working with others, page 99. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Our drinking fellowship was a substitute one for lack of something better. At the time, we did not realise what real fellowship could be. Drinking fellowship has a fatal fault. It is not based on a firm foundation. Most of it is on the surface. It is based mostly on the desire to use your companions for your own pleasure, and using others is a false foundation. Drinking fellowship has been praised in song and story. The cup that cheers has become famous as a means of companionship. But we realise that the higher centres of our brains are dulled by alcohol, and such fellowship cannot be on the highest plane. It is at best only a substitute. Do I see my drinking fellowship in its proper light? Meditation for the day. Set for yourself the task of growing daily more and more into the consciousness of a higher power. We must keep trying to improve our conscious contact with God. This is done by prayer, quiet times and communion. Often all you need to do is sit silent before God and let him speak to you through your thought. 
try to think God's thoughts after him. When the guidance comes, you must not hesitate, but go out and follow that guidance in your daily work. Do what you believe to be the right thing. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be still and know that God is with me. I pray that I may open my mind to the leading of the divine mind. Hazelden Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.